to game two between Artosis and Art of Turtle from StarCon 2024. This is the winner's bracket, sorry, the upper bracket round two between Artosis and Art of Turtle. And I wish I could uh, pat Art of Turtle on the back for game one. It was a it was a loss, but it was a respectable loss. If that makes any sense. It's something to build on. Um, proud of him. Uh, something along those. <laughs> As though it's my job to encourage literally every player. But anyway, no, I I I liked what he he threw out there. So Artosis, uh, he's a hard guy to beat. He's arguably so well. Gypsy definitely number one in North America. Between Nyokin and Artosis, it's a little bit hard to argue. For number two, but number two is definitely one of those guys, and he definitely rounds up. Artosis definitely rounds up the top five uh, Terran, like definitively. There's not really any argument that he's in the top five. And the question is, is he like two, three, or I'm trying to think of someone that would maybe Mars would sneak in there, but I think Artosis ends up playing better than Mars quite often. So really, it's like Gypsy number one clearly, and then the battle uh, depend uh, between Nyokin and, and Artosis after that, and I think that also depends on what shape Nyokin is. So I'd say, like, at this stage, not that it matters, it just helps create narrative. It's uh, It was funny, because <laughs> uh, in the space of uh, commentating, I can't remember when it was in, uh, Gypsy made some comment along the lines of, like, yeah, a commentator is always making, like, the story the narrative, and I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what we have <laughs> do a lot of this time. Because part of the trick of all this is getting you guys to care about what's happening on screen and to, to feel the weight that the players do. And I guess that's uh, my job and hopefully I'm doing that better than uh, better than not. We're gonna see a 12th hatch here from Art of Turtle, New Dark Origin, a large map. I'm gonna drone scout his way up to go ahead and see what's going on. Just going for in-base uh, barracks, both games. And I'm wondering if that's just a safety protocol, being like, okay, these guys might Try to pull something, in which case I want to be able to react in kind and not have auto losses. Is he going to go for the gas deal? So, Art Turtle actually not dropping gas. I'm wondering if he's going to go for a third hatch. Nartosis has to... He's he's noting this. He's noting that gas is not yet dropped. And in the meantime, so we do have the uh, spawning pool in the midst of this, but usually you see that gas drop in the same space of this. So I'm wondering if this is going to be three hatch before gas from Artoturtle, or if Artoturtle is playing a little bit nervously here, or if he is going to go for a potential, and yeah, and Artos is just hovering around it, almost to like indicate to Artoturtle, it's like, I see your gas here. But now we have drones, we have 300 resources uh, out there, and we do see three hatchery before gas in the space of this. So I'm wondering if we're going to see a Hydralisk follow-up. And <laughs> there's the gas deal from Artos, is was waiting to see when the gas was going to get attempted grab. Is he going to go for a double gas deal? Because the timing of this, the gas deal feels a bit like a... I mispronounced it previously, but I'm going to say Pyric, Pyric, Victory. Someone pointed that out. Because that natural expansion already up, and with the timing of that gas, he's uh, going to be able to... It, it doesn't cause... It's just a waste of 33 resources based on the natural expansion timing. Gas regardless, in comparison. So a few seconds lost between point A and point B. <coughs> but I don't think that's going to disrupt Art of Turtles build order process all that much. And Artosis now knows that it's three hatch, it's most likely going to be lurker play in the space of this, and an overlord already at the 12 o'clock. Now keep in mind we have the stasis cell prison up here, and I haven't seen someone go for it yet, but this is a play where you can try to knock down that uh, the barrier here to the north and go for counter attacks, or go for a, a backstab is what is the word I'm looking for. Look at this cool little blinky light. We never, I never, I haven't seen that game before. Maybe because it's so distracting. But they really put it in... I've casted Neo Dark Origin a lot and I haven't seen the little blinky light claw thing or noted it consciously, so that's fun. Anyway, so three hatcheries, two layer. It's probably going to be uh, three hatch lurker play. Artos is getting that command center up. He's going to go for two barracks academy. And we'll see what his response is. We do have Zergling Speed being upgraded. Um, another fun little doodad with the little blinky light. Noticing all sorts of stuff today. The SCV going and trying to check out whether a third had been latently grabbed on the map. I, I think he has to presume that, in fact, isn't the case. Second gas getting dropped, so it's going to be a pretty heavy tech dedication. Marines moving out, chasing that Zergling off the front. And, yeah, Academy finish. It, I believe this SCV is waiting to go ahead and drop that Engineering Bay. Never mind, dropping a Supply Depot. So I was expecting Academy Engineering Bay. 
but we'll see how Artosis decides to... <coughs> so he knows it's three hatch. He knows it's Hydralisk. Uh, and most likely Hydralurk. In fact, he got the SCV all the way back into the main to go for a confirmation. But now I'm actually... So there's no Hydralisk then. Interesting. So a later, a much later Spire. It, uh, but I think Artosis might have spotted it. So I'm not sure if this is Art of Turtle playing nervous and not sure what to do in this situation or if this is like a delayed creative mind game build order. Because if I was Artosis in this situation, I certainly would be like, okay, this is Hydra Lurk. But now this might be a very... This is also, by the way, how sometimes you can catch Artosis by surprise is doing wild stuff like this. So a, a group of Zerglings looking towards the front. Artosis dedicating some four idle SCVs, by the way near this bunker with this fire bat on top of everything else to make sure he does not die to any sort of all-in. He's going to go ahead and drop the commsat here. Is he going to drop it or save it? So he's he's dropping it here. Seize the spire now. So unfortunately for Arter Turtle, if he was going to try to catch his opponent off guard, that timing is unfortunately passed. He might want to drop another commsat just to make absolutely sure that there's not like a hidden hatchery someplace, but an addition, or a, a, a hidden hydrogen someplace because that'd be another way to sneak around this, but we're going to have a lot of Mutalus. I think this is like old school 3-hatch Mutalus build. Additional comp set to see the timing of the Mutalus being constructed to try to confirm that they're being constructed. And he, I believe he's going to get the eyes of at least of the full flight of 9. And if anyone knows how to play against this, this is Artosis. Although Artosis dropping two additional barracks. Needs to get some of those turrets planted immediately. And this is uh, it looks like rather than planting the turrets he's going to try to push his army forward to, okay, never mind. He's getting the turrets down. Moving that army forward to get a little map presence. So third hatchery, which will be the fourth hatchery overall, by the way, as far as construction. Art, Art Turtle's got his Mutalisks in play. Now dropping that Hydralisk then as far as a follow-up. Artosis attacking along that left-hand flank to draw the Zerglings back. Does have turrets up. He's got the four, four barracks play, and I think he's going to go four barracks. Uh, I, I'm expecting a factory pretty quickly here. And Arter Turtle, in the meantime, streaming across the map. Pretty healthy economy to work with, though. About even on supply. This is a lot of turrets to deal with, and that's a bunker with a fire bat in it as well. So just sweeping around. A single fire bat, checking bottom left. And I'm wondering if Arter Turtle here, if he just stops and grabs an additional hatchery, that might put him in an, a decent scenario. Factory, uh, I think about 15 seconds later than Artosis wanted it, but dropping that factory after the comp set just to make absolutely sure... Very, very shelled up. The Mutalisk diving in. Nice micro Artosis's part, able to pick off a Mutalisk near immediately. But now the problem for Arter Turtle is, is that's four... I, I don't know that he confirmed the barracks count, and this is four barracks. And you can see there's already a large group of uh, Marines out and medics. Whoa! Careful. Oh, loses uh, another... Just small mistakes right there. Um, loses another group, but this is going to be a big bulk of m, &M out in the field. And he's going to need lurkers and a lot of else to contend it. Now, here's the thing. If Art of Turtle does what he did in game one and pushes towards this ramp and gets lurkers established on these ramp lines, the massive number advantage from these barracks will be somewhat nullified. Because there's only so many Marines that can, can purchase on any one of these ramps at a time. So let's see if he has an opportunity to flood forward and make that happen. In the meantime, he's got that... The Hydra will stand up. He's, uh, he does have a bunch of Hydra lists here in position. They are not yet morphed. And I'm one Oh, this is looking like a similar situation to game one. I don't even know if he went Lurker Tech. He did drop an Evolution Chamber I saw here in the background. Hydra lists have revealed themselves. But unfortunately, yeah, he's not going to be in time now. Along that ramp line. Carapace 1 evolving. And the, But there is a defensive situation for Art of Turtle with maybe if he can morph... The Lurkers on this side, the Zerglings, streaming through with the Mutalisks at the natural expansion, hoping to draw those units back, but that's not going to happen because then this is four this is four racks worth of units. So Artosis, and he's got a glut of turrets as well. So pressing that back again, the, okay, now morphing to Lurkers, just going to be a little bit too late. And that natural expansion still has no something colonies, just Zerglings exposed. This is Zerglings without that plus one carapace going against plus one weapons. Artosis also uh, lost an Overlord in the space of that, so in the red. So Artosis looks like he's going to be able to walk on that natural expansion and secure the victory from there. Unfortunate. Few things gone. Uh, a few things 
different, and I think Arter Turtle might have been able to make it happen a little bit differently, but still, uh, I'm going to call this a respectable loss as well. Just a very, very strong opponent in Artosis all the way up to the main. Looks like we do have some Lurkers coming in from the rear, so might be able to clear up this Medic Green Ball. But honestly, the he's already down to 16 workers versus 45. So it might just be the tournament exit, or, or the the tournament, like, try to play out as best as possible. Also, Artos is really one of the best foreigners I've seen in doing this, of punishing the lurkers when they're trying to walk their way through. Like, the the, uh, the lurkers not... He's just really, really good on the ground versus lurker. Maybe because of all of his time playing against in control. Anyway... Our turtle gets dropped to the lower bracket. Artosis will continue in the upper bracket. Strong play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.